Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about a really good piece of software called as Espanso. I believe this is one of the most underrated applications for PC. In this video, we'll talk about what Espanso is, why it is so underrated and how to start using Espanso in our daily lives in order to improve our productivity. First, let's talk about what Espanso is. Espanso is a simple text expander tool. There are many other text expander tools as well in the market, but it breaks my heart to see a free and open source tool like Espanso not getting a fair recognition. One of the very reasons why uh, it might not be so popular is because it is not easy to set up. It's easy to use, but not as easy as other tools. You have to be a little tech savvy for that, or at least watch a few tutorials on YouTube before you start using it. A few days back, I installed Espanso on my Windows laptop for the second time. Yes, second time. First time, I just installed it and uninstalled it a few months back, not knowing how to use it. This time, I watched a tutorial on YouTube, went through the documentations and I was set. It's amazing how a simple text expander tool like Espanso can be so helpful in our daily lives. So I thought why not share about this tool with my viewers. So let's begin our video and explore how you can start using Espanso in your daily lives. First, we'll need to install Espanso for that. Just go to this website espanso.org i'll also put the link in the description so that you can directly go from there based on what device you are using uh, whether you are on mac os or linux it will show you the download option i'll click on the download installer for 64 bits it is just 5 mb so it will not take a lot of space on your device as well i click on open accept the agreement click on next install anyway click on check the option to launch espanso click on finish and you will see the option that espanso is running now if I open Espanso, this is all Espanso will show. Espanso is running, try typing Espanso below without quotes. Just try it, Espanso, and it will automatically change to hi there. It will replace the text Espanso to hi there. This is a simple example of how Espanso will work. So I'll just close it. You can see you will not have any other option in this app, right? If you go to Espanso, this is all the window is showing. So how do you use this application? For that, first we'll need to add the snippets we want to use in the configuration file and the configuration file is located somewhere in your PC and where is it located we need to find that for that we'll use the terminal and use the command line espanso path and it will show the path for the configuration file I'll just copy it from here go to explorer enter sorry I think I copied the configuration to I just need to start from C so here are two folders two directories over here first is configuration directory second is mass directory the configuration directory has default.yml file and the mesh directory has base.yml file. We'll need to add the snippets in base.yml file. For that, we'll need to install a text editor. I have Sublime text editor. You can also use any other text editor. Inside the configuration file, there is a default.yml file. If we go to the documentation section, it clearly tells that the configuration directory tells how Espanso should perform its expansions and behave. behave. By changing the YML files contained in this folder, you can tune all the expansion speed, UI shortcuts, and many others, many other settings. And the match directory defines what Espanso should do. It contains all the snippet definition, aka matches, as well as global variable. So we we'll need to add snippets to the match directory. Let's go to match directory, open this base.yml file with an text editor. Now here you will see there is also a description over here. You can use this file to define the base matches, aka snippets, that will be available in every application when using Espanso. Matches are the substitution rules. When you type the trigger string, it gets replaced with the replace string. These are the two things that you need to understand. First is trigger, second is replace. Trigger is the word that Espanso detects while you are typing. And replace is the word that Espanso replaces the trigger with. If you are understanding me, let me just copy the snippet from here and add it over here. And I'll add name over trigger and I'll add my name hi there I'm Prakash Soshi now if I save this file Espanso will reload automatically it will show a notification you can see here configuration reloaded now I can type anywhere I can just type right here right I can use the trigger name and it will automatically replace with hi there I'm Prakash Soshi similarly you can do this for other actions as well for example if you want to use a trigger for your email address you can add it, add it over here you can just write main hi there and you can write my email address my my email is 
or whatever you want to write over here. Espanso is just replacing the trigger with what you specify. Control yes. Now the configuration will reload and I can just write mail over here and it will replace with this text. This is a simple example of how you can start using Espanso. There are also other features which you can discover in documentation. For example, variables. You can write trigger now and it will replace with the time that is right now. It's time which is inside this uh, my time is inside this curly bracket you can see various examples of snippets using variables as well inside this documentation you can also read the documentation for more in-depth understanding of espanso and using it in more advanced form another thing that i want you to know is this package section where it is the espanso hub you can click on see all packages for example if i want to see packages for emoji and let me just click on this if i want to install this package I'll just need to copy this code, copy this command line and go to terminal, add this command line over here, click on enter and the package is installed. Now you can see the source code over here and these are all the triggers and replace snippets over, available over here. For example, I can just write greening and it will replace with the greening emoji. And using emoji especially on Windows is uh, very hard. You'll have to do multiple things. So for me personally, I use the Windows V key and it will open this clipboard section and I can just click on this emoji icon and then I have to select emoji. But now you can use Espanso in order to quickly add the emojis that you most frequently use. For example, you can see here is a trigger word smiley and it will replace with smiley emoji. I can just write smile, sorry smile, it's not smiley. And it has two emojis. That is why it is showing this option, which, which do you want to use. I think I have installed this package two times, so it is showing so many options. Let me show you with another example. Let's go to chat. Let's go to greeting section over here. And I go on this greeting English package and copy the command. Go to terminal, add this command and this will be installed over here. Package installed. If I go to source code, you can see here is a trigger. For example, I will just use this trigger and TM. That's it. It's so easy to use as Panso once you have added the configuration or once you have added the required snippets in the base.yml file inside the maths folder right so this is all about this video i hope you found this video useful and i hope espanso plugin will help you in some way thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll be coming with more videos like this have a great time bye bye